Hello everyone, this is Dr. Charlon Lewis, General Practitioner at the Wellness Center Medical Clinic in the Cyril B. Romney Tortola Pear Park here in the BBI. And I have a great health tip for you here today. As we have been home for a couple weeks now and we're looking at our food supplies, why not start to ration our food according to what the serving size is actually supposed to be? So I know at home we have a tendency to overpack our plates, but now might be a good time for you to start looking at portion sizes. So in front of me here, I have some examples of what portion sizes would look like. This is actually a portion size for a glass of juice. And if you notice that it's not the huge glass that we normally take, so this is what a portion size would look like. If you look on the container of your juice, you can actually see how much is supposed to be a portion size. So why not have some fun and start practicing with just eating according to portion sizes. So this is the size of juice, and this would be the size of a bowl of cereal. And this is what we commonly eat here in the Caribbean, cornflakes, yes. So this is what a portion size of cornflakes would look like. Again, we're just going to practice and have some fun with it and see what happens, see how we feel. Are we too full? Are we too hungry? Let's just try it and see what happens. This is what a portion size of chicken, fried chicken would look like. Okay? Now if you look at it according to the palm of my hand, this is what a three ounce size of chicken looks like. No bones, no skin, just chicken breasts. Okay? And what we do is that we're going to put it on a nine inch plate. Do you know the sizes of your plates at home? Get a tape measure out. And we want a nine inch plate or something smaller because the bigger the plate is, the more you're gonna try to pack the food up onto it and that's gonna lead to eating a lot of extra calories. So here in this plate, this is a nine inch plate and we have what is looking like to be your portion sizes. The two things that carry the most amount of calories in your diet would be your protein and your carbohydrate or your starch and here I have an example of what a serving size of macaroni and cheese would look like this is a half cup portion and this is what a portion size of macaroni and cheese looks like okay and here we have some baby carrots now the thing is with baby carrots for this whole one cup you only have 60 calories but this amount of macaroni and cheese, which is just a half a half cup, you have 150 calories. So as I said, the carbohydrates, the starches in your diet actually carry a lot more calories. So you need to be very mindful when using them on your plate. So what we recommend is that half of your plate should be vegetables. I don't have my half a plate here, but half your plate should be vegetables. One quarter of your plate should be your protein and one quarter of your plate should be your starches. So my advice to you would be choose one starch. If it's going to be macaroni and cheese, if it's going to be rice, if it's going to be your potatoes, just choose one. And let's see if you can portion out your sizes of your protein. So this is a three ounce size, but maybe you might want to do four ounces or five ounces. It depends on the size that you are and what your goals are. But for the most part, let's try and stick to about three to four ounces of a meat. Okay? So that's my health tip. Not only is this going to keep your calories in count, but it's also going to help save you money and save some of that food for these lockdowns that we have going on.